Good morning again. Uh, you yeah, already know who it is. Target individual, CJBK. For those of people who are like, you know, just joining in on my channel and stuff, if you don't know what CJBK means, I stand in the open because the wickedness hides in, hides in the, the, the darkest corners and high places where they feel like they're untouchable. So my name is Christopher James and I live in Brooklyn, New York. And I am being targeted by a secret society of Luciferians and techno pagans who are using technology to infiltrate the minds of many people in this city, but I'm mostly, I'm, you know, like New York City is basically considered Sodom and Gomorrah if you really think about it. But uh, from the studying I've been doing and the research, America itself is Babylon. But uh, with everything else, there's, you know, people being targeted all across the world. And, you know, everyone has a spiritual battle of their own to take on. So, um, it's 5.31 a.m. Um, I got a later call time today. Um, but of course, the handlers, they figured, you know, we're going to wake him up several times. You know, if you see the video prior to this, I talked about the dream that I had earlier. Well, the, the dream they induced into me earlier you know um because remember we're constantly we're we're i don't want to say permanently connected but we are connected to this cloud through uh near infrared light this near infrared light that they're projecting over our eyes that's connected to our visual cortex connected to our memory processing area of the brain our auditory cortex it's all basically near infrared light that is passing through our flesh and our skull to make contact with the brain. The brain is a computer, basically. The brain is an organic supercomputer. And many of us have been poisoned for so many, for, for me, mostly all our lives, you know. Um, and the military knows about this. CIA, you know, pagans of old, they all know about just how powerful and strong the brain truly is. There's a reason why there were such programs called MK Ultra, um, Project Bluebeam, Project uh, Stargate. Um, you know, there, there are so many military um weaponization projects all meant to basically uh target the brain and you know manipulate the soul let me see that that one uh never mind i was like that one headlight out but anyway um so Some things started to like come together in my mind as I started to make my walk down the street. And um, I knew the bus was gonna pull up behind me. It's whatever, I'm, I'm still making good time. Cause I, I don't know, sometimes I just be like, man, I'm not gonna wait for the bus. I love that, go to the bus. <laughs> but I'm only about like, four blocks from the train station anyway, so. And me, I stopped, I kind of really just stopped running for buses and stuff like that, because, you know, um, at the end of the day, things will work out for themselves. But anyway, so, like, I'ma stress this even more. The warfare that we're in it's not just technological. 
It's not just spiritual and it's not just psychological. It's all three combined. It's all three combined. The intentions behind the other two is the spiritual. The spiritual is the the spiritual warfare is the first portion of it. The spiritual warfare is the first portion of it because in order for a human to really get the idea to do something as evil and dark as, you know, murder without cause or want to rape someone or to want to um, engage in some type of activity that will take peace from someone else, especially someone who did not agitate another, your spirit has to be, um, uh, your spirit has to be attacked first. And then on top of that, if your spirit is already low enough, if your spiritual energy your or your vibrational energy is already low enough, it's nothing for the dark spirits that are working within dimensions that we can't necessarily see to take possession of your mind. If you are already operating at a low frequency, you will not be able to fight back against the thoughts and intentions that they can basically, you know, place into your mind. So now when you think about the spiritual aspect, because I mean, trust me, if you don't believe in, if you don't believe in spiritual warfare, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is look up. I mean, if you want to look from the Christian perspective, because I mean, I've looked up um, deities and demons of di of several different, um, you know, cultural backgrounds, African ones, Asian ones, you know. And then, funny thing is, all of these same demons, no matter what the name is, pay attention to what they do. You know, like the de like a like a demon that basically attacks you in your sleep. They sit on your stomach and make you feel like you can't breathe. That same specific action is named in three or four different cultures with different names, but the same action is the same. You know, there's the succubus or the incubus. Basically, they're, they're like lustful spirits that basically encourage you to conduct yourself in you know uh what they call uh well yeah it's lustful so they encourage you to you know um engage in sexual acts even when you don't even necessarily feel when sometimes when you don't even feel right about doing what you're doing but you engage it anyway because it quote unquote feels good you know there are spirits that are always all around us you might not be able to see them but trust and believe they're there they're, they're there they are definitely there and a lot of times they're waiting for you to reach your lowest vibrational point possible so then they can be able to get you to be stuck in thoughts of whether it's depression suicide emptiness guilt um, anger. They wait for you if they, if you, and then if you're, if you're not already at this low vibrational point, what they do, or what the enemies who are already possessed by these spirits, they will then begin to surround themselves around you and try to attack you in many different ways. This is the psychological part. The, the human beings, the vessels, let's just call them vessels, the vessels that are already infiltrated by these dark spirits, they are now going to surround themselves around you so then they can basically attack you in ways where they'll look at you with disgusting looks or they'll look at you like, um, 
I don't know. I like like that. Like I grew up in I grew up in neighborhoods where like if somebody just looking at you wrong, it kind of you you feel the you feel the negative energy about it. And then next thing you know, you you find yourself saying, "What you looking at?" And you, that's how it starts. That's that's how it starts. These people don't realize how lost they truly are. Just read Psalm 37. Thank me later. Read Proverbs 6. Thank me later. So, these people, they congregate amongst each other, speaking so much about the violence that they felt they needed to do against somebody. They, they congregate and they talk about how much um, they had to do something towards somebody, even though this person probably actually didn't really do anything to them. They just shot them a look and then they felt like they physically needed to do something. That means that person was already at such a low vibration that even a look, <laughs> even a look could actually get them to physically act. <laughs> See, that's the psychological. If someone can do something to you either by saying words or just a just a just to look at you and you act based on something that a person says or by them just looking at you, you already lost psychologically. You were attacked spiritually already because your frequency was already low enough that you couldn't you didn't even have the energy to fight the psychological attack that they was gonna place in front of you. Now, if you have been so strong throughout the majority of your life, and you've been a master of protecting your peace, and you've been so good at avoiding conflict, avoiding the temptation to engage in, you know, you know, hateful acts and things of that sort, um, then the enemy will basically then tell him themselves that, oh, he's too strong. That's a powerful person right there. So now what they do, they, they use technology to try to lower your frequency because they failed to do it spiritually and they failed to do it psychologically just by their presence alone. So now they got to use technology. Now they have to use technology to actually lower your frequency because they failed. This is why God reminds us all that spiritual warfare is the very beginning before everything else. If the enemy fails to attack you spiritually, you've already done well for yourself. And if they can't attack you spiritually, then they'll take people who already failed spiritually and they'll surround them around you to try to mess with you psychologically. If you learn to ignore the hate and the, the anger, the animosity, the unchecked aggression, if you learn to ignore or fight against it psychologically, you're already doing well for yourself. If you are now at the point where they're using technology, if you're at the point now where they're using technology to, to, to attack you, then you are doing much, much better for yourself. You are already in the grace of God because you have now proven that you are so strong, they have to use every, they, have, they, they basically exhausted many of their resources so now they have to use devices to attack you stay strong stay strong yeah i don't like this early call time there's mad people on the train <laughs> i gotta do this all the way till till thursday So, so yeah. Oh. All 
always know that when you're being attacked, they attack you spiritually first. If they fail at that, then they will take people who are already spiritually broken and then surround them around you and then use all types of like psychological ways to attack you. And if they can't attack you psychologically, whether it's by looking at you or saying something about you or, you know, whether it's like a little, you know, maybe you walking in the street and then someone bumps you and they don't say excuse me or something like that, that is all a form of psychological warfare. If they fail at getting you to react in the same, you know, if they fail at those two, then what they'll do, they'll realize that they have exhausted their resources and they realize they need more help. So they'll use technology to try to break you down even more. It's spiritual, it's psychological, and it's technological. They realize they, they weren't able to basically break me down to the point where I would basically become their puppet when I realized in my first dream manipulation when I realized that um, what I was dealing with did not feel natural, like it wasn't a natural dream, and I read and I and I had like basically like sleep paralysis in my dream. The only way that I was able to wake up was because I said one word. My mouth couldn't move, my body couldn't move, but in my mind I could still hear my internal and what did I say? I said the word Jesus. And next thing you know, I woke up from my dream and I was able to move. So basically, always remember, they're going, if they fail at attacking you spiritually, they're going to use people who already were weakened spiritually and they'll put them in your life to try to attack you in more in psychological ways. If they, if, you, if they fail to bring you, bring your frequencies down, your, your, your energy and your aura down um, psychologically, then what they'll do is they'll use the technology given to them to try to lower your frequency. This is where we're at now. Those of us who are already in the phase of the psychological, of the technological part, where we're still aware of how the enemy works and how the enemy moves. And we're aware of how effective that you know the enemy's weapons can be, but they're not unbeatable. They're not unblockable. They're not undetectable. It's just that everyone else who is either denying your truth, it's not your truth, but it's the truth. Everyone else who are who is around you that's denying the truth or denying the fact that these things are happening. They're the ones who already lost, and they're already working with the, the principalities. They're already working with the dark ones that sit in high places. And, um, you know, I can say this because one of the first things that, you know, one of the first things that these Luciferian secret society people were saying was, we're demoralizing you. Someone who is high in moral who has a high morality, someone who is very founded in, in everything and in, in love and peace, you would have to demoralize them. Have to. Because that's someone who had already, that's someone who had already been successful at overcoming everything that the enemy can throw at them, including the kitchen sink. So now they have to amass themselves in such a large number and even use technology to try to bring you down. This is why I tell people, you're already beating them by a thousand because they had to get more people to try to bring you down. They're using everything in their possible in their in their, their hands, every resource. They're poisoning our water, they're poisoning our, our food supply, they're poisoning the air we breathe, plants are dying, trees are dying, the bees are dying, animals are just dropping dead, birds are just dropping dead. They're poisoning the entire earth. We're probably, we're most likely going to be the last ones to go, but trust me, God is not going to let the earth die. <laughs> 
because of these wicked you know, people that are working working amongst us. God loves the earth. God is not going to allow the earth to be killed because of um, mankind that has, like people within humanity who have been poisoned. And, um, you know, basically, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, just remember, you're already beating them. You're already beating them. The fact that you're at the point where you already now know that they're using technology to try to attack you. They're using technology to try to lower your frequency. You're already beating them. They already know that they're losing. That's why they have to amass themselves in such large numbers of people. This is why they have to surround your home. This is why they have to surround you. And they have to use everything in their power to try to see if they can bring you down to their level. Because they want to demoralize you. Because if there are people that move like you and I, we will be the ones that will continue to make them look bad. Remember, they're trying to create a hell on earth, basically. People like us who are morally sound, we are actually trying to prevent that by actually being representations of peace and love. And you know, and I'm talking about the unconditional love, not that, not that love like, if I, I love you, I'll do something for you, but you gotta do something for me, no. We are operating on a on a spiritual plane that is so much stronger and greater than what they're operating on. Remember, they feel like they can't survive in this world without technology. We we understand technology as a means of better communicating with the people we love. But we are not using technology to try to influence or control other people. That's the difference between us them. We're not looking to use technology to control, but we are using technology as a means of communication. So, um, yeah, that's it for now. Um, remember, detox as much as you can. Um, look up the um, nanobot, look up the nanobot killer and um, pineal gland decalcifier detox. Um, do the radiation detox salt bath, um, which is genuinely just you know, sea salt and baking soda. Look these up. Um, use some spirulina in your food or in your smoothies and whatnot. Try to do everything that you can to um, you know, keep, your, keep your flesh going. I mean, I, I mean, no matter what, um, no matter what, no matter what, you are already beating. You are already beating. This is why they have to amass themselves in such great numbers. They don't realize they're already dead. They are dead in their transgressions. Right now, they're just living in their vessel. Well, as soon as they leave this earth, that's it. There's no, there's no better place for them after that. Once they leave, why do you think they're using technology to try to prolong their life so long, so hard on earth? People who are spiritually in tune, we are not afraid of dying. Because we already know and understand that when we die, we're going somewhere that's much better than earth anyway. We're going to be in places that are so much more beautiful than Earth in itself. Because Earth is basically in between, you know, Earth is basically in between everything that is, you know, dark and everything that is light. That's why when you leave your flesh, you're either going to ascend or you're going to descend. So, um, yeah. Don't even, don't even stress everything that's happening in the world around you. Because what's about to happen to the world, you will not have to experience. Take life one breath, one thought, one step, one day at a time. Peace.